<laughs> Guys, thanks for joining us. My name is Julie Jones. I'm the Senior Vice President of Appraiser Outreach and Engagement here at Class Valuation. And today I am joined by the newly minted president of the National Association of Appraisers, Mr. Brian Reynolds. Brian, thank you for joining me today. Hey, Julie. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, newly minted. Newly is the key word there. So just, you know, just kind of take it a little easy on me today. I'm never going to take it easy on you. You know that. <laughs> so when we say new, right. how new? And tell me how that came about, because this was a little, a little bit out of um, the normal direction for the NAA. Yeah, yeah it really was. Um so when you say how new, uh, October new, <laughs> so <laughs> less than two months ago, right? Um, and this was uh, news to me as well. What happened, our, our president, Mr. Craig Morley, who is a great guy, he's done a lot of great things for the NA, NAA, he, uh, he was uh, selected and became a member of one of the appraisal foundation boards. And so he's on the ASB now which is fantastic. I mean, he's going to do a great job in that role and the foundation's lucky to have him. But as a consequence, um, they're pretty strict. They don't want you serving on any other boards. And it kind of makes sense. You know, if NAA wants to argue with the appraisal foundation, uh, Craig would have a difficult time playing both roles, right? So as a consequence of his appointment to the board of the TAF, he had to step down from the NAA I was vice president, so I automatically ascended, uh, whether folks like it or not, <laughs> to, the, to the role of presidency. Uh, Teresa said it was just maybe six months early because our, uh, our new, new slate of officers would be coming in in the spring during the AX conference and, and knock on wood, I, I may have been, you know, I may have been president at that time. So it's just a little early. I was anticipating assuming this role, just not quite yet but all's good. Everything's, everything's going very well. Well, so a lot of our appraisers, Brian, may not even know what the National Association of Appraisers does. Can you tell me more about the organization? How big is it? Um, and what do you hope to do? Yeah, sure. Those are all great questions. Um, so the NAA is a nonprofit organization. It uh, was formed in 2010. And it really was just a group of appraisers that were talking and, and discussing that, you know, we need some representation. We need an association. Um, different statistics are out there, 60%, 70%. I've heard as many as 80% of appraisers aren't affiliated with any type of association or organization. I just had a class this week, Julie, and uh, I did a quick survey in my class. How many of you are members of, a, of an association, whether it be state or national? And 67% of that audience, I had uh, just under 50 attendees, said they weren't affiliated with anything. You and, know, when uh, I was out in the field, I, I was never affiliated with an organization or a group. I was so heads down yeah. and focused on, you know, getting appraisals out every month. It just didn't even dawn on me to join um, any type of association or coalition or organization or even understand what that could benefit or how that could benefit sure. me. Sure. And I, I think that's what most appraisers are going through. You know, they're, they're everybody's busy. Uh, most appraisers work for themselves, or, or at least a large percentage. And uh, I, what I hear frequently is I don't have the time. I just don't have, I'd love to support, I just don't have the time. And, and, and I'm that guy too. I'm a busy guy. I mean, we're all busy, busy people these days. But I always say, you know, what if a new policy came out or a new law or requirement that made you do more work? And so you talk about being busy now, now you're going to be even busier, right? Or have more hurdles to overcome. And, and so as part of the NAA, if we can hedge some of those off or create environments that will make your job a little easier, we're all about that. And so the NAA was formed as a boots on the ground association. We're an association of appraisers for appraisers. And we simply advocate for appraisers. We have their best interest in mind. We try and get good, positive things done. I'll give you one quick example. When the HUD 4001 came out, right? Um, NAA got directly involved with that and communicated to HUD over 30 issues that we thought they should change or modify or delete. 
out of the over 30 issues that NAA spoke to HUD about, HUD adopted 27 of those suggestions. So did the NAA have an impact on the HUD handbook and hence what appraisers are doing? Absolutely, we did. So that's just one one example. Well, I know that you've only been in your office since October, but you've already accomplished something pretty big. Um, can you tell me more about the appraiser relief fund? Oh man, I'm I'm happy to do that, and, and this is something that's near and dear to me, and and I'm I'm really 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 excited about. You know, let me tell you how the idea was formulated. Um, I was teaching a class one day, a virtual class, kind of like you and I are visiting today on, right? And after the class, we had a couple of stragglers. And uh, one gentleman we had found out during the course of the class uh, had just, his area had just suffered a hurricane. He was down in Louisiana. And uh, I invited him to stay after and record a podcast. His name's Kevin Melton. He's down in Louisiana. And you guys can go find the podcast if you want to. Uh, if you go to Appraiser you Learn and you'll find it. Um, Shameless plug. Yeah, no, no. I'm just telling you where you can find it. You can find, it's called the Appraisal Update Podcast. How's that? And you can find that wherever you listen to podcasts. Uh, Apple, Spotify, you know, wherever you listen to them. And so we had a conversation like you and I are right now, Julie, and man, he really, he kind of choked me up a little bit and we did it in this zoom platform, but as you know, podcasts are audio only. So, so when it went out there, when, when appraisers across the country could hear it, you didn't see it, but I saw his face and I saw the emotion that he had in just telling the story. And he told the story about how, you know, his home where he works and lives and went to church and go down to the dairy freeze and get you a burger or something. All of it's gone. It's, it's all rubble. I mean, his community was devastated and uh, he was okay. And then, then what he said was he was extremely optimistic about all the people traveling to that area, bringing in water and asking how they could help. And it, he really just touched my heart and, and got me choked up a little bit. I said, Kevin, this isn't, you, you know, you got me thinking, we're going to see what we can do. And what I thought, Julie, was, you know, maybe we could create some kind of GoFundMe page or something for appraisers that are impacted by such events. And so we really hit some brick walls. And then I got to talking to Teresa. She's the administrator for NAA. And then I talked to some of the board members and the executive committee. And I said, this is what I want to do. And we were able to do it. So the Appraiser Relief Fund is a fund dedicated simply to helping appraisers that are in need, okay? They're having a hardship, whether it be a hurricane or, or a tornado or the wildfires out west, whatever it is. Maybe it's just a personal challenge. I had a, a, a female appraiser in one of my courses. I, I wasn't teaching, but my instructor reached out to me and he said, Brian, can we help this lady? Her husband is, uh, is dying. He's terminal. Mm-hmm. And she has been, you know, kind of his right hand, if you will, during this appraisal process for years, decades. And he sadly is, is, you know, not going to be with us very, very soon. And so she is frantically trying to get all of her education out of the way. She's got plenty of hours, take the national exam and become a certified appraiser to keep that business model open and provide for her and her children. Now, if that doesn't touch your heart, nothing does, right? Yeah. So something like that, wouldn't it be grand if we as appraisers could lend a helping hand? Maybe we say, ma'am, we want to pay for all your education. Or you're in a devastated area and your office gets wiped out, your personal home gets wiped out. Maybe we can come and buy you a laptop and buy you a printer. Uh, and this is really catching on. I mean, we haven't really aggressively advertise this yet and i'm proud to say that as of today we have four thousand two hundred and ninety dollars in donations and this will eventually go to help some appraiser in need we've also had a software provider julie who's reached out to us and said hey i heard your podcast hey i see what you're doing any appraiser that's in need that you guys send money to as a, as a, we would like to figure out a way that maybe we give them free software for a year. Right. And so we're hopeful that, that uh, we can all kind of come to 
come together as human beings and appraisers and help one of our fellow appraisers that, you know, need a helping hand. So I'm really excited about it. That's an incredible accomplishment uh, for the first 90 days of being in office. Well, so it's not just me. It's not just me. It's, it's the NAA. You know, I had, I had a little bit of an idea and, uh, and, and we were, were tickled to death that we were able to make it happen. So uh, anybody watching this, if you're an appraiser in need, or if you know an appraiser in need, reach out to us and we'll see what we could do. I mean, it's still, we're trying to figure out the policies and procedures. We've got an ad hoc committee that's meeting after, uh, at the beginning of the year to, you know, put that, put those policies in, in process. Uh, some, some member of the profession reached out to the, us the other day and said, you know, uh, how much for administration, how much right now there is no admit, you know, NAA is really taking a loss on that because 100% of the funds are going to an appraiser in need. So we're really excited about it. Well, it just shows the power of people working together and collaborating and what they can accomplish for the common good. So that's great to hear. Um, yeah. So then what are you planning for 2021? If you did all Ooh. that in, <laughs> in three months, yeah. what can you do in 2021? What do you hope to do? Well, I need a lot of help. So uh, if you're out there and you're one of these appraisers that are not a member of an association, please consider joining. Join your state association, get involved there. Uh, but please consider joining the National Association of Appraisers. We've got a, a big laundry list of things we would like to do. But if there's an appraiser out there that has some ideas, some changes they would like to see in the industry, we welcome that too. Let's, uh, let's move some mountains here, right? So what I have done immediately is I said, you know, we have an election of officers every year. And it seems like our committees never, you know, get fresh folks or, or you know, and, and thank you to all the folks that have served on committees, but we want to get real aggressive and have super active committees, right? So one of the first things I did was we send out a, a letter and say, hey, if you're on a committee, you want to continue to be on a committee, thank you. We welcome that. But if you don't have the time or you need to take a break, we want to fill these committees and we want them to be very active. So I'm proud to announce that Teresa, Josh, my vice president and I have completely filled the committees. We've got a lot of new folks coming in, a lot of new ideas, uh, a lot of young, talented folks coming on. Uh, we're really excited about this. Josh has uh, agreed to kind of kind of take that over for me and, uh, and he's going to kind of be in charge of that. And he's got his first meeting of the chairs of those various committees coming up the beginning of January. So we'll set out some goals. Uh, I've established what I call the ambassador program. And so if you've been a member of NAA for a little bit, you kind of know how we operate and you want to volunteer, I very well make, make you a, an NAA ambassador. And these are folks that are going to wave the NAA flag at such events like the appraisal summit in Las Vegas or at the AXE conference that we have every spring that's in uh, Bay St. Louis, Mississippi this year. It'll be in Charleston, South Carolina the following year. I'm excited about that as well. Um, I've already asked one ambassador if she would start putting a calendar of events or a calendar of what's happening in our industry on our website. And uh, Teresa, she works very hard. So this is a way that we can kind of spread that workload a little bit, Julie, and get things done. If we all work together, man, we could do anything. Well, and to that point, class and the NAA decided to partner up this year. And it, we're late in the year. COVID had other plans for us. Um, right. But the good news is uh, we can start fresh for 2021. And so uh, for our panel of appraisers, that means dedicated webinars, special events, um, different info sessions. And so I'm really excited about that. And on top of that, they get a discount for membership to join uh, the NAA. And I want to make sure I get this right. So I'm going to look at my notes. <laughs> um, so for our regular panel, just if you're on uh, the class valuation panel, you get a hundred dollars. Let's say, nope. I did get that wrong. Your designation fee is waived. Uh, so your membership is hundred dollars for the first year. 
Now, if you are one of our class act appraisers, um, not only is your designation fee waived, but you also get an additional $25 off. And so that means it's $75 to become a member for the first year. So $75 and $100 to get a membership to an organization like this, um, to be up on the latest policy changes, um, to have someone that's got your back, like a whole relief fund if something catastrophic happens in your life. I, I think that's a, a wonderful thing to invest in uh, for 2021. So I'm really excited about that. Yeah, yeah. If they go to the website, Julie, they'll find additional benefits they get. I mean, you get a 20% off subscription to ANOW. Uh, we, we put together a magazine on a regular basis, and I'm happy to announce an NAA designated member will get a print copy. Uh, that magazine's going out uh, probably the either the end of December or the beginning of January. We It's packed full of articles. Lisa over at the Appraisal Foundation contributed an article to that uh, so that you know a little bit about what the foundation's doing. Scott Cullen has uh, presented an article on his new sensitivity analysis model called SAM, which is very cool. Uh, we've got a lot of great content. We've got great advertisers. We, it's got a lot of information about upcoming conferences in there. You also get 38% uh, off for six weeks of Data Master, uh, a 10% off for online courses with Appraiser eLearning. You get up to 80% off products at Office Depot and Office Max. And let me tell you how that thing works, man. I've used that. <laughs> they send you a little card. And when you go in and you buy your supplies, you give them that card and they, they scan it and it's incredible. I was buying something. I think my, I got some printing and some paper and I can't remember what else, but it was, a, it was going to be like $115 or hundred and it ended up being like $70 or something like that. So just, just that one savings almost <laughs> pays for your membership, right? So the, the, the nice thing is we had someone join the other day. We've actually had a couple of folks join just because of the appraiser relief fund, uh, which was very cool. But we had somebody join the other day. She said, I'm a newer appraiser. I don't, I feel like I'm lost on this little Island. You know, I don't have anybody to reach out to. I don't have anybody to call. Um, I can maybe call some other appraisers in the area, but I've only got a, a handful and I don't know how receptive they're going to be to talk to their competition. So I like getting involved with the NAA that I can call them or go to a conference and, and brain, you know, just have that brainstorming event or that networking opportunity and, and maybe get some suggestions of ideas of how to better run my business. So yeah, that's a, a really good point. And I hate to digress, but I think back to like when I was out in the field, which is a billion years ago, but yeah, there was a lot of camaraderie out in the field, especially when you were going to continuing education classes. And I would say like 90% of continuing education at that time was in person, in class. Right. And with everything gone virtual now, you don't get that interaction unless you're going to some sort of conference. And so uh, whatever way you can uh, build those relationships with someone in your network, um, in your local market is really important for appraisers to have that sort of support system. So I, I think that's great as well. Now, if someone wants to learn more about the NAA, where do they go? Yeah, so it's real easy. It's naappraisers.org, naappraisers.org, and everything's there. Um, Teresa and I have worked very hard to make some changes to that website so that it's more user-friendly, so you can uh, find anything you're looking for, whether it be how to join us and the different levels of membership. We had a lady join the other day, and she said, I was glad to see that there was an option available for my husband to join He's not an appraiser, so he can't join as a designated member, but he can join as an affiliate member. So she was tickled to death, and both of them are becoming members. So that's great. We also have, within the last two months, created a store. So if you want to uh, let folks know that you're a member of the NAA, you support the NAA, you can order a shirt. Uh, a bag, uh, a luggage, uh, a hat that has the NAA logo on there. It's very cool. You can also look for a directory. You can see what events. And like I said, our one of our ambassadors recently put upcoming events. So that's, that's upcoming events across the board. You can find uh, 
uh, what the appraisal foundation's doing and when and how to gain access to that. So yeah, there's a wealth of information. It's www, if you want to put the W's in, naappraisers.org. That's where you can find more information. Well, Brian, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for letting our panel know all of the benefits of joining NAA and we appreciate the partnership. So uh, have a wonderful holiday and we'll let you all go. Thanks so much. Thanks guys.